shirt sleeves rolled up. There we go. Oh, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Your Prime Minister. Thank you, Bono, for that uh, kind introduction. I swear I had my sleeves rolled up before I walked into the room. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I do have to say that uh, my wife is a much bigger fan of yours than she is of mine most days, so uh, I think that makes us even on that level. Uh, thank you, Bono, for inviting me to be part of this. I know how uh, important it is uh, for you to be focused on bringing everyone together, uh, focused on challenging everyone, and the fact that you uh, are sharing this stage with, uh, uh, with a politician is, uh, is something that I really, really appreciate. Thank you. Um, but this, this is an issue that goes beyond uh, political parties and politics, and that's why I'm so glad to know that there are uh, politicians, MPs from every different party in, uh, in the room here today, and I think that's really, really important to recognize. Uh, this is beyond partisan politics. Uh, the, the first time I met Bono, uh, it was actually, I was uh, a leader of the third party in Ottawa and he came and he met with all uh, party leaders to talk about uh, our engagement with the world, talk about international development, talk about uh, the One Campaign, talk about everything he's been involved in and uh, it was a pleasure to meet him then and of course uh, he remembered everything I had promised in the third party <laughs> position when we met again in Davos uh, and he called me on it and he said, okay, uh, you, you know, You've said all the right things. Uh, let's see you pull together the world and uh, host a replenishment conference for, uh, for the Global Fund. Uh, and that's exactly what we did here. And we show that the world comes together. A lot of people talk about it as governments showing up and uh, pledging, but it has been so much more than that with uh, private foundations and private sector leadership, uh, but mostly uh, civil society, activists, citizens, making sure that everyone knows just how hard it is, how important it is uh, that we work hard together to solve uh, the great challenges facing this world. And we couldn't do it without compelling voices that resonate beyond borders and around the world uh, like Bono's. So thank you so much. Um, it's been uh, an incredible day with extraordinary people and uh, I'm really, really pleased uh, to be able to highlight that uh, today's success really wouldn't have been possible without the amazing work of Marie-Claude Bibot. Uh, Marie-Claude, uh, notre ministre du Développement International, a travaillé depuis des mois et des mois. Euh, sur, euh, sur cette réussite qu'on a eue aujourd'hui et, et, et euh, c'est vraiment à tout son honneur qu'on a fait cette, cette belle réussite. Uh, because today our global family came together in support of the most vulnerable. And we showed the world what true strength and solidarity looks like. This day, my friends, is one for the books. Thank you for all being such an important part of this journey and thank you for your leadership on these important causes. Je tiens à remercier nos partenaires de nous avoir permis de réaliser cet objectif qui semblait impossible à atteindre. Nos pays donateurs à travers le monde, nos partenaires du secteur privé, les dirigeants et les activistes du Fonds mondial, nos amis et alliés qui combattent ces épidémies directement sur le terrain à tous les jours. Sans le travail acharné de toutes ces personnes, un jour comme aujourd'hui n'aurait pas été possible. Merci de croire qu'ensemble, Nous pouvons faire une différence. Ceux qui ont entendu mon discours hier à la conférence ont probablement déjà une bonne idée de ma position sur les enjeux qui touchent les femmes et les filles. As a husband to an incredible, inspiring woman and a father to a beautiful, whip-smart little girl, it should be no surprise that I am a proud, unwavering feminist, and so will be my sons. And to be honest, it's absolutely baffling to me to, that every time I say so in the media or any sort of forum, it really makes news. But the fact that it does make news tells me that I need to keep saying it, and we all do. Les leaders politiques, sociaux et économiques doivent faire preuve d'audace. Nous ne devons pas avoir peur de déclarer haut et fort que nous sommes féministes que nous n'accepterons rien de moins que l'égalité pleine et entière des femmes et des filles dans le monde. Maintenant, 
Je sais que je m'adresse à des gens qui partagent déjà cette vision. Mais n'oublions jamais que nous avons tous la responsabilité de faire avancer l'égalité à chaque occasion. Et je sais qu'il y a encore énormément de défis pour moi, pour mon gouvernement, pour le Canada. Et je compte sur vous tous de me mettre au défi, de nous, de, de nous euh, exiger qu'on fasse plus, de nous rappeler que le travail n'est pas fini. Alors que ce soit Bono ou n'importe qui d'autre, quel citoyen qui nous dise « Non, non, c'est bon, mais il en faut en faire plus », je l'accepte énormément, mais je vais vous demander de vous impliquer pour m'aider à y réussir. La pleine égalité des femmes et des filles est l'un des combats les plus importants de notre génération. C'est un combat que nous ne pouvons pas nous permettre de perdre. Nous savons que la réussite de toute société repose sur la participation de tous ses citoyens et surtout les femmes et les filles. Lorsqu'on soutient les femmes et les filles et qu'on favorise leur autonomisation, nos communautés progressent et prospèrent. Nous devons donc faire en sorte que nos paroles se traduisent par des gestes réels et concrets. Et les résultats impressionnants obtenus à la conférence euh, du Fonds mondial sont un pas essentiel dans la bonne direction. We know that poverty is sexist, and we know that the far-reaching impacts of poverty are cyclical. Women and girls living in poverty are less likely to get an education, more likely to suffer from disease, and almost always lacking basic, basic social, political, and economic rights. When you don't have an education, it's hard to climb out of poverty. When you're battling disease, it's hard to climb out of poverty. And when you don't have basic equality rights, it's hard to climb out of poverty. It's time to accept that these barriers to living a full, healthy, and happy life are undeniably interconnected. And it's time to do our part in tearing down these barriers. It's time to break the cycle of poverty, and together, we not only can, we will. Thank you very much for being here from every corner of the country. Thank you for your activism, your engagement. And boy, oh boy, I look forward to taking some questions from you now. Merci beaucoup.